Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another... Can you imagine if I just did the whole thing in this hat and just didn't address it? You know what? Let's just... Get rid of that. And, uh... Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today I have another Lightroom tutorial for you and it's all about colour correcting video in Lightroom. Now, that's probably pricked some of your ears up because you were thinking that Lightroom was only for photos and for the most part, you'd be right. This isn't a technique I use very often, but it's great for creating LUTs and that kind of thing. And I'm gonna show you how to export those out of these files as well. So be sure to stick around for that. But without further ado, let me jump into Lightroom and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So jumping into Lightroom, you can see I've already got my video imported. It's right here, it's about three seconds long. It's a nice short one because Lightroom sometimes lags with video and things like that. So I've kept it short, but go ahead, import your video and double click to open it up. And you should just be able to play through. It should scrub like normal and you should be good to go. Now, normally with photos, for those of you who have some experience with Lightroom, you'll know that you head up here to the develop module, hit develop, and usually this is where you have access to all of your tools, all of your temperature controls, all of your exposure controls, all of your HSL sliders and all those excellent things that Lightroom provides us with. But in this case, they're grayed out and we have a message that says video is not supported in develop. Now at this point, you might be thinking, ah, damn it, we just, there's one slider I wanted to get out in Lightroom. I know exactly where it is. I know exactly what change I want to make to this clip. You think that you've been bested by Adobe again, but you'd be wrong. There's a simple workaround and I'm going to show you how to do it. So jumping back into the library module, if you hit this little gear icon here that says click to trim video, you can then scrub through and pick a frame that best represents the tones of the overall video clip. So mine's pretty much the same the whole way through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this icon here, hit capture frame. And as you can see, that's generated a still frame down in the bottom left. If you can't see that, you might need to go to view all photos in this little menu here. But in my case, I've got it in the collection. So there's my still frame. Now this, this is where the magic happens. And this is the bit that just <laughs> blew my mind and Oh, it's, it's incredible, let me show you. So with your still frame selected, head back on up to the develop module and bam, we have all of our color correction tools, all of our HSL sliders, our presence tools, our tone tools, our color temperature tools, and all the things we come to know and love from Lightroom. And you can just go to town on your image if you need to adjust the white balance or adjust your exposure or adjust your contrast. Any of the things you can do all of them right here to this image. And then by synchronizing the image with the video, it'll then apply that color correction to each and every frame of that video clip. Now, as with everything, there are a few caveats. I don't think the noise correction tools work and I don't think the sharpening works. They don't copy across the same with crops and things like that. But all of the base color tools, all of the base exposure tools and all that kind of stuff works perfectly. All the curves, you can use all of that and transfer it across to your video. So another cool thing I should point out is if you have presets that you want to apply to video, but they're Lightroom presets and you don't have them as LUTs, for example, I've got all of Peter McKinnon's presets and I've got a few of Chris Howell's as well. What you can do is you can apply those presets to these photos and then transfer that across to your video. So if you have Lightroom presets that you absolutely love and you'd love to use on a specific video clip, this is the absolute best way to do just that. So with that in mind, rather than me making a whole bunch of tweaks and changes to the image, I'm gonna go ahead and throw Peter McKinnon's Skyfall preset on this particular image because I think it looks dope. And then all we have to do to transfer that back across to our video is make sure our image is selected, hit control, hit our video and hit sync. It's gonna pop up this synchronized settings option box that lets you basically have tick boxes for all of the different options that you wanna make changes to. So you can see the ones that are grayed out are the ones you can't use. There's a few there that I mentioned earlier, but there's also a couple more. And by hitting synchronize, give it a second to just do its thing and you'll see that the video now has all of our preset applied to the whole thing. So if I hit play now, every single frame of this video has the same preset applied as on that image. Now I don't know about for you guys, but the first time I saw that, it blew my freaking mind. It's so useful. Like I say, I don't use it all the time. Uh, I use Colorista in Premiere Pro, but in a pinch or when I'm trying to come up with new color profiles for different types of footage, this is awesome. I absolutely love it. And the best part is everything you do in here to an image, you can then export as a LUT. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. The quickest and easiest way that I've found to export LUTs is by using a Lightroom plugin called Export LUT. 
I'll leave a link to where you can get that down in the description. It does cost a very small amount of money, but it is less than $10. So just dial back a couple of coffees and you'll be all good. So once you've downloaded that and you've installed it to your plugins, you should be able to go to file, plugin extras and export LUT. But first we need to make some changes to our image. So I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the develop preset and reset the image so it looks like our original frame. Just so you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm exporting, I'm gonna go ahead and white balance my image, give it a bit more contrast, make it a bit punchier, that's a bit extreme. Come down and say I wanted to come all the way down to my calibration panel and change the colors to be much more stylized and now obviously this looks ridiculous and I normally I would take much more time and care in making a LUT that fit the image or the video that I was trying to use it for. But just as a quick extreme example to show you guys, this kind of works. So once you've got your image and you're happy with the way it looks, you come up to file, hit plugin extras and export LUT. And that's going to say that it's extracting the color profiles from the photos and it's going to give you this box. Now you're just going to want to go through and make sure that A, you've got the right selected photo, B, the color profile represents the color space of the images or videos to which the LUT will be applied. So basically if you're shooting in log, go into this list and pick the log that you're using. In my case, I'm using Rec 709 or the video I'm using is as close to Rec 709 as it's ever going to be. So I'll leave that as it is. Select the quality of your LUT. I tend to stick with medium because high is a bit too much for Premiere, especially on my machine. And it does kind of slow things up and medium's fine you don't really need much more than that especially if you're just doing this for youtube and that kind of thing so go ahead hit medium pick the location where you want to save your lut in my case i have this auto saving to my luts folder so that in that little drop down in premiere i'll show you in a second it's already there waiting for me it's all good to go so following on from that you're going to want to name your lut and make sure it's something somewhat memorable so you know exactly which one it is so in this case, I'm just going to call this one LUT Tutorial and hit export. What that's going to do is it's going to tell you there's a couple of operations in process. And once that little loading bar disappears from the corner of your screen, you are good to go. Your LUT has exported and you can go ahead and jump into Premiere. So jumping into Premiere, you can see I've already got my clip loaded in. It's the exact same clip from before. And we want to apply our LUT to this. So I'm going to go ahead and drop an adjustment layer just over the top of it there. And because of where I save my LUT, if you need to know where to save it, jump back and check the file path from a minute ago. I should, under this creative look drop down, I should have the option to add LUT tutorial. There we go. So I hit LUT tutorial. It applies it like any other LUT you've ever used. You can tweak the intensity. So if you want it to be really intense, it can. If you don't want it to be anywhere near as intense, you can do that too but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at 100. And there you have it. The LUT is on the video. And it really is that simple, guys. If you have a specific editing style for photos that you really wanna to transition to video and you don't know how to do that, this is without a doubt the easiest way to do that. You can even go through your back catalog if you've got a specific photo that you've edited that you really, really love and you've always wanted to apply that style to your videos. Go ahead, export it, get it in Premiere and just drop it on there and oh, buttery every time it's amazing just oh thank you ow you know when you hit your funny bone ow that really hurt i think i need a moment all right guys well that is it from me for today so as always be sure to hit the like button if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me some comments. Let me know if you knew about this already. Let me know if you've always wondered how to export LUTs. And keep an eye out because I'm working on a few things. There might be a bit of a, a bit of a LUT pack coming soon. Maybe. If I like them. If I release them, I'll let you know. Be sure to follow me over on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'll leave all the links down in the description. Take it easy, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.